Let's talk about the change of events and being in three different places in one year. It's easy to see it as a video game or to talk about it in pregame, postgame, or during the game of, yeah, he pitched for Chicago this year. And, yeah, he kind of moved home, as Jensen just said. He got to pitch here for the Angels. And then he got to go to Cleveland and maybe in the biggest game of the year for the Guardians, he's on the mound and he just met his teammates and he gives up nine runs. Well, how do you get through all of that to get some normalcy in your life? Lucas is hoping that now that he's a week into being a Guardian, he can soak it all in and be the pitcher that he knows he can be. Tyler Anderson will try to get them back in the win column today. 0-0 with a 4.50 in his career versus the Guardians. Stephen Kwan to lead things off. Tyler Anderson lets it fly, and tonight's first pitch is swung on and lined to the second baseman, and making the catch on that line drive is Brandon Drury. Well, Jose Ramirez will step in. He's the designated hitter tonight for the Guardians, as Terry Francona able to get him off his feet defensively. Driven to deep center. Back is Phillips. He's at the wall. He's out of room, and it's out of here. Jose Sox won the straightaway center field for his 22nd home run of the season. And the Guardians will play from in front as they take a one to nothing lead. And that's number 22 on the season for Ramirez. And he's been coming on at the plate after a slow August. And certainly not a coincidence. Josh Naylor is back in the lineup after missing August due to injury. Swung on. There's a chopper to the first baseman. Picked up by Moustakis. Flips to the pitcher covering. Normally you're not supposed to feed the moose, but you can let the moose feed you. Yes, yes. Oriano comes in hitting 221, eight homers, 33 driven in. Right-handed hitter picked up off the waiver wire from Oakland in early August. And that's up and in. Got him. Evidently it nicked him. And a two-out base runner for Tyler Freeman now. Freeman getting the start at third base tonight. At the plate this year, hitting 248 in sporadic playing time. He lines one into left center field, and running that one down out there is Randall Richick. Yeah, the veteran right-hander Lucas Giolito takes the mound tonight for the Guardians. Uh, coming uh, to a team he was there for, for a little while, and coming right back out making a start. Let's hope he can get off to a good start, have a nice quick 1-2-3 inning after they put a run on the board. He will face Randall Grichik, leading things off for the Angels swing and a miss strike three Giolito with a nice start trying to bounce back from a rough one in his Guardians debut this is his undoing up to the plate Brandon Drury chopper to third it's Freeman across his body and past Naylor into the dugout so Drury reaches base and takes second it was a tough one Naylor try to keep his foot on the base that might end up being a straight error on that one Drury in scoring position either way and now Mike Moustakis Comes to the plate against Giolito. Couldn't do anything. Center field, not deep. Deep enough to get the runner over to third. But there are now two down. Ohapi with a home run last night. His seventh on the season. He's missed significant time with a shoulder injury. This is only his 33rd game, but they're glad to have him back. There's a rocket out toward right center field. Straw is back near the wall. It is gone. A home run for Logan O'Hoppy. He goes to the opposite field and he's given the Angels the lead here in the bottom of the first. Thought it was going to break out. Rock of Ages there. Home run the other way. Left center last night. Right center today. Logan O'Hoppy. Oh, hammered. Two run shot like that. He loses up. Two to one. Angels are going to have some sort of a lead after one inning tonight. So talked about how successful teams have been over the years when they've led after just one inning of play. Waved at and missed strike three and Thais is down on strikes. And Giolito has been in anything but a standard rotation for a while now. So two down bases empty for Josh Naylor and he swings and drives one high and deep right center field home run Josh Naylor. Oh my that got out in a hurry. 105.8 miles an hour. That's how fast it got out. That ball was ripped. He tore the cover off that ball. 2-2 ball game. Brett Phillips will lead it off. First pitch swinging. Brett Phillips launches one high and deep to right. Way on out of here. And on one swing, the Angels 
retake the lead three to two. Brewery a base hit in the run scored. He came home on Ohapi's home run. There's a ball socked towards center and Milestraw with a nice running sliding pitch. Yeah, number two. Got a good jump on it. Ends up making the slide at the end, but got to it easily and makes the catch. Nice play. Guardians trailing three to two as we head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Logan Ohapi steps in. Trying to muscle it in the left. Quan racing in, dives, and makes a terrific catch. Pull out number one. Logan Hoppy denied. Yeah, it got inside on him, and, and Quan got a nice jump, and he wasn't going to quit. Right at the last minute, he'll dive forward and make a nice diving catch. Lucas Giolito already a, a plug as he saw him sliding in on that catch. One out here is Matt Dice. There's a long fly ball out toward right center field. Laureano is back for this one. He's at the wall. He leaps, and that ball is gone. The third homer for the Halos tonight. Matt Dice makes it a hat trick. So one out base runner for the Angels, and it's back to the top of the lineup. That's lifted in the air down the right field side, down in that corner. And that ball is out of here. Randall Gritchick hits a home run. Ooh, that wrist in there, too, for Luriano. As he tries to get to that wall to be able to reach up. Ooh. I think that left Either arm, wrist. he ran right into the wall, you know, as he's going, and that was right at the foul pole. It looked like his hand or wrist went right yeah, into the wall. Yeah, it got jammed, bad. I think, yeah. in there. Yes, indeed, and he knew it right when it happened. And I think Laureano's done. he got to come out of the game. He's not even stopping. Well, two down in the ninth. Andre Jimenez, the last hope for Cleveland, with the Guardians down by four runs here in the top half of the ninth inning. First pitch, Andre Jimenez pops it up. Kyron Paris is under it. Say goodnight to the Guardians. The Angels have won two of the first three in this series. They did it tonight behind four home runs and eight brilliant innings from Tyler Anderson. So Estevez comes in, sets down all three batters that he faces, and the Angels come away with the victory tonight. They beat the Guardians 6-2, to two, and you can put a halo over this one.